Welcome back. Here's the truth. It's not me. It's, it's my husband who has too many t-shirts, shoes, you name it. He has too much of it. You probably do too, though. We just seem, can't seem to throw things away because maybe there's sentimental reasons behind it. Maybe we'll need one or two of them when we're painting the house or working in the yard. But when you can, barely close your uh, dresser drawers, it's time to weed out and get organized. And that's where our next guest comes in. We want to welcome Leslie McKee. She's a professional organizer and owner of Inspired Closets to help us with two top problems today. The drawers, and then later we're going to talk a little bit about making sure the closets are organized. That's great. So, um, I, I don't need, uh, this, is, this is the thing. Where do we get started? <laughs> well, we start with the container. Okay. Your drawer is a container. So. My deal is I want to make sure you get things into the drawer. I don't want you to get overwhelmed with perfection. Okay. But some people are already saying the hot thing is the Maria Kondo fold, which is when you fold things so that they stand up. Rick so you Dayton can see was telling them. me all about that. He didn't say the name of it, but he, this is how he does his drawers. That's it. And I can't believe how wedded people are to how they do the drawers and what they do with their t-shirts and how they I don't fold. know if we can lift this up just a little bit more so people at home can see this, but this is more of how I do mine. That's the traditional. Traditional. Uh -huh. And yeah, right. you don't typically see what's at the bottom of the drawer, but it just seems And neat. typically you use what's on the top of the drawer. You right. keep rotating in the things you use the most, so they end up on top. So right. it really isn't that big of a deal. But some people really are high visual, and so they really want that to fit. And also, what is your drawer size? I mean, some people can do this fold in a very deep drawer. So well, that's what I'm. Yeah, I, it depends how deep the drawer is. Right. Because, and this is what I was saying. Trick. You can't layer these on top of each other. Exactly. So you're, right. You're wasting the height the of the drawer. The depth of the drawer. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, you've got some good organizing thoughts there. We so, have a long conversation. There about we go. This this exactly. Morning. Well, you know, <laughs> one of the big things is to just really call down the drawer and make sure that you it fits. Yeah. So I want people to get things into the drawers. Right. And also there are things that are better for drawers and things that are not. In other words, underwear, PJs, socks, they're, they're good drawer things. T-shirts for women can be hung because they don't make the dents in the... In the right. So okay. that's another way to look at it. So you're going to help us learn how to fold a little right. bit better. So you, you wanted me to show you how I do yeah, it? Yeah, show okay. me what you do. All right, so I used to get made fun of because I'm not kidding. This is how I used to fold T-shirts. I used to just go like this and a little bit like that, oh, and then fold it down. You were and the there you center go. crease girl. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know any better. And then my sister-in-law teased me, and she told me to fold in half and then over. Oh, that's like that. good. Okay, so it's a little bit flatter. I Very still don't nice. know if it's well done. I think that's great. Okay. Now I do the air fold. All which right. is just flip it and put it like this. So it's just simple. That is simple. So And it fits in the traditional drawer. <sighs> now, the condo <laughs> fold. Let's see if we can do this. What? Okay, what, the, the condo. Maria oh, Condo. Maria Condo. So condo. she has written several books, and one of them is called Sparking Joy. And she sort of talks to her clothes. So she folds down the middle line. I don't have time to talk to my then clothes. she <laughs> says, thank you for being my shirt. <laughs> and then, and when you do fold and be careful like this, you do sort of say, wow, this is a nice shirt. It feels good. Yeah. So it is interesting that that does happen. Then you fold it in thirds again. And then her test is that it stands up. Woo, stand up. There you go. So that's it. And so then we just put it in the drawer. Well, Maria must have a lot of time on her hands. Exactly. I don't have that much so time to be talking to my thing. clothes and pulling Honestly, <laughs> you know, I just want it in the drawer and I want it to fit in the drawer. That right. is the bottom line. Right. I want you to live with your best things. Pick your best t-shirts. Make sure that you're living an elevated life. And then put it in the drawer. And so the drawer is your rule. So if you have uh, a bought furniture, you usually get a five-drawer dresser right. and a six-drawer long dresser. And so if you, the reason closet systems are in trend is that we can give you the drawers you need. So you look it's at what you have to your life. and fix it to you. Exactly. And we're going to talk more about closets coming up. My other question to you, though, is when we're going through everything, maybe we are going to reorganize our drawers and fold a little bit nicer and better. Right. How do we know when to throw things out? Well, I mean, there's a lot of rules. It's very personal. But I think it's when it makes you happy. When you pick this up and say, I love this T-shirt. It's great. If you pick up something and say, oh, I have to keep it. My sister gave it to me or my you yeah. know, friend gave it to me. That, does, that doesn't feel good. So if you love it, keep it. If it elevates you. So those are the kinds of things. So we're going to live with our best. Okay, so uh, this is an example. I have one orange tank top. 
Okay. okay. One, who has an orange tank top, right. right? So I feel like I need to keep it because what if I need an orange tank top one day? But, but did I you never wear it? Did you feel? Did you see? You just kind of went. I have this one orange tank. You did right. this. You did it. So, so I don't want that. Tank no. Top. So, so I basically, can throw it away. if you said I have this orange tank top and, and I, I love it, it. <laughs> that's a totally different conversation. So we should all go home, talk to our clothes, right. see if we well, love them. Just <laughs> okay. live with your best. You'll feel it. Okay, any other tips for organizing our drawers? Uh, separation, if you're working right. with X number of drawers, how do you right. separate things? So you don't want to overbuild, but it, if it helps you, put in the separation. If it helps you see visually, put in the separation. Don't work hard on your drawers. Okay. I mean, if it's underwear, do you have to fold your underwear? I don't know. I. That's personal. It is personal. I'm going to tell you I don't. I don't either. <laughs> So I just think put it in the drawer that's good enough. So, but some people get a lot of joy from having things look like this. But some people get stuck thinking that this is the only way to do it. I see. So I don't want you to get stuck. I want you to have a home for everything. And that is really the key and keeping a consistent inventory. Uh, you've inspired me to go home and put my three laundry baskets of clothes away. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs>